Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Light Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. I'm going to be doing a check-in for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm going to see the energy that surrounds you at this time. See the um, person that's coming towards you, how they truly feel about you. And then the outcome for the situation. So if you're a cross-watcher here, remember flip switch the energy's roles. Do not force any messages. Only take that which resonates to your story. If it doesn't resonate, check out other placements. So show me the energy that surrounds Aries at this time. Show me the energy surrounding Aries. And I will clarify this then with tarot. So surrender to the divine, trusting in the plan, trusting in divine timing is what I feel. Show me the energy of the person coming towards Aries. So adjustments are required, but in the reverse. So someone is not willing to change. Someone is stuck in regards to a connection with you that you have surrendered the outcome of the situation what is the outcome of the situation here confidence is your key to success so something has caused you fear there's something unknown that's connected to you at this time Aries that is affecting your confidence that's possibly holding you back now it could be in regards to someone that's connected to you that is stuck that is not willing to make any changes is what I'm getting here. Nothing will come of the situation in the reverse. Something is coming to light in regards to this connection where someone's connected to you. You just need to trust. There's nothing for you to do but be in the moment and to trust in the divine's timing for you is the message I'm getting, Aries. And the outcome for the situation is spirit. Take time to breathe out. So it's about healing, right? Healing energy surrounds you, your guides and your angels are surrounding you wanting you to rest take time to go inward there's someone you're dealing with that isn't capable of change that doesn't want to change that's avoiding feeling their emotions so you're dealing with someone that's very stuck very stagnant is what i feel and it has affected your confidence on some level or your ability to to move forward is what i see here so i'm going to clarify this now with tarot so i call upon aries guides and angels to give me a clear message message for the collective, I also call upon my spirit guides and my angels to protect my energy at the highest as I channel this message. Clarify the energy surrounding Aries at this time. Give me more energy on the surrender to the divine for that which surrounds Aries. We got full moon there, right? So it's about fear as well or unknown secrets that are unknown. But there's secrets that you'll never know. There's You will never know everything is the message that I'm getting. So it's very important that you just trust that everything is happening for your greatest good, which it certainly is. So the energy that surrounds you, we've got judgment. So that's about karma. It's about consequences to choices that have been made. And those choices and, co and consequences might be reflective of the decisions of others. But ultimately, it is playing out in your favor for your greatest good. And that's being validated also with the chariot which is cancer energy. So there's movement here, whether you're making it or not. So the, the message for you, Aries, is to maintain your energy in the moment. Stay present in the moment. Do not be fearful of what's coming towards you because there's lots of other factors playing out here. There are consequences to the choices that are made. So make good choices. Don't be afraid is the message I'm getting. Give me some more energy on that judgment card, please. So two major arcana right out the gate here. And then Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is coming towards you quickly this is what's surrounding you so this is the message for the moment Aries is to uh not be afraid to trust in divine's plan for you because there's a bigger picture in regards to something that didn't work out and and, and it's telling me that you are not required to do anything with the knight of pentacles in the reverse because the knight of pentacles can be about putting in the work but this because it's in the reverse it's about not not doing anything right not doing anything but being present in the moment Take the time to rest. Take the time to relax. Enjoy those that are around you. So enjoy your people, you, you know, your tribe, is what I'm getting, Eight of Swords. Because if you allowed yourself, you could get very stuck in your head over things that you can't control is the message that I'm getting here with that Eight of Swords energy. And then Queen of Pentacles. So we've got a lot of Earth here. Um, but there's definitely a message for you to trust right to just be in the moment to release any fears and just know that karma is a factor at this time so the person that's coming towards you 
or connected to you, Aries. It says adjustments are required, but in the reverse. So I feel someone's not willing to take accountability on that card. Give me some more energy on that spirit. So we got seven of pentacles, so Taurus energy. So someone's very ungrounded as well with all this earth coming out in the reverse. You are dealing, someone's connected to you that's, that's not grounded, that's not very realistic. Someone that didn't put improper investment into a connection with you. And there's consequences to that choice, right? And the consequence isn't for you to dole out is what I feel. The consequence for you is to be present and in the moment and rebuild your self-worth, right? Because confidence has been affected by a connection where someone wasn't willing to change, grow, or evolve, or take any accountability is what I feel. Three of Wands in the reverse, Aries energy, that's your energy. It's about no longer having any expectation for this person because this person had an opportunity to make a change and they did not is the message that I'm getting here very clearly. Give me more on that Seven of Pentacles in the reverse on the adjustments are required in the reverse for the person that's connected to Aries. Thank you. Page of Wands, Sagittarius, and then the Wheel. So you're learning something here about this person. You're learning something about yourself through this person because this person wasn't willing to do the work. You are walking away. You are recognizing that there is no growth here. There's no movement here. So the wheel is turning and you're trusting in that wheel, meaning that you're changing your vibration because you are trusting in the divine's timing, right? Everything is happening for your greatest good here. You may be dealing with someone that is younger than you, Aries. Dealing with someone that wasn't willing to put in the work. And that's validating with that adjustments are required, right? Seven of Pentacles is about not putting any more effort or not putting any effort into something. Because this person that was connected to you was not on the same maturity level. It's a page, right? This is a page who you were dealing with. I mean, we're all in different cycles of our life, but in regards to a connection, that is not a very solid connection, right? And this person put in very minimal effort. And you're recognizing that, and this person is showing me that. So whether they would ever admit that or not, that is the energy that surrounds them. But there are consequences to the decisions that were made, to the choices that were made is what I feel, right? Yeah, you were dealing with someone that was very codependent, very ego-driven, very materialistic, that had get that did not contribute to your self-worth or your um, well-being at all. But the world is there, right? So that's an end. That's the past is what I feel. So I feel that you were dealing with someone that didn't put in the work that was not capable of growth. And that affected ultimately your confidence, right? So it says confidence is your key to succeed, but in the reverse. And that's in regards to um, the situation, right? So give me more energy on... The confidence is your key to success. So that's Leo energy in the reverse. Give me more energy on that. Confidence is your key to success in the reverse spirit. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Virgo energy. So this affected a family. This affected a legacy. So there was a lot. This was a very serious commitment. So you were very committed to this person, to this cycle. And this person didn't put in the same effort. And that's being validated by the universe. So there's a change, right? The tower occurred. And now there's judgment, right? There's karma playing out. And it's all happening for your greatest good. So you have to release any fear that you may have. Be present in the moment, right? Take the time to rest. Take the time to rebuild your confidence. It's about investment in self. Because the investment that you put in the past is was not validated or honored is what I feel. High priestess. So you're being very quiet at this time. Possibly you have taken communication back from this individual. You're not in communication with this individual because there was disrespect for the divine feminine with the empress energy here. That's Taurus, right? So this is someone that did not honor you in, this, in the same way that you were presented in this connection. You were the divine mother, the loving, the nurturing one, the caring one. There was no respect there. So now you're pulling your energy back. High priestess is about taking the time to breathe, taking the time to heal, with this cancer energy here. So um, yeah, that's validated that there was a lot of potential here. You were all in on this commitment, but this person was not, right? So you were ex you had the expectation of 10 of pentacles happily ever after with a family, security, financial stability, abundance, legacy. This person showed up as a seven of pentacles and a page of wands, right? So this person 
ultimately is not going to be a part of your future because you're moving in a different vibration now with that wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune is about prosperity. It's about a change. It's about an increase of vibration. It's about manifestation, right? So your key is to let go of what didn't work in the past Aries and rebuild your confidence in this present moment by healing and being present within yourself and not being afraid is the message from your angels and your guides today. So give me more on the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, please, for confidence is your key to succeed. King of Pentacles again, so heavy earth, Virgo energy, right? So there is no investment now. Look at this. Like what, like what a betrayal, what a disappointment. And that's affecting your confidence now because you had put so much investment in this connection with from the past here that it's affected your confidence, your ability to move forward. And if you continue to stay stuck in the past, it will affect your abundance moving forward because the wheel of fortune is in your favor at this time. So you are in a place of being a powerful manifester. If you put yourself in the right vibration in the moment is what I'm getting here, Aries. Okay. Ace of Wands. There's new opportunities that surround you, right? There's new paths, new ventures coming towards you that are going to rebuild your finance, your stability, your confidence ultimately. So the outcome and the advice for you from your guides and your angels is to take time to breathe out, right? Disseminating moon. Give me more energy on the outcome for Aries in regards to this connection. More energy in regards to the outcome. Why is take time to breathe out here for the outcome for Aries? Ace of Swords in the reverse because there's things that you'll never truly know about this connection. There's a lot of deception here. Lots of lies with that Ace of Swords. Air energy, right? Yeah, there's a lack of victory in that path. So you need to, to release that pain. You need to continue to move away from someone that was deceptive. And again, validating that there's no communication with this individual. You've set up boundaries with this person who abandoned you. Abandon the family, left all the responsibilities to you is what I feel. But that wheel of fortune is dead center here, right? So that's about change. That's about future. Now that you've released this person who wasn't able to make changes, at least you recognize that some people get stuck in a cycle where they never see movement or never see the truth or never see things clearly. So it's about you seeing things clearly now. And now you just need to take time to heal. And from that place of healing, you will rebuild is what I'm getting. Give me more energy on that Ace of Swords in the reverse for the outcome, please. So continue to hold your boundaries, continue to keep communication from this individual because if you don't, you won't heal. So it's validating that there's still healing to be done, right? I feel that this has been playing out for a very long time, Aries, but it's not... um. You're not completely healed, but there's definitely movement. There's karma playing out. So I don't feel like there's anything more you can do. The message from your guides and angels is just to be very present within the moment. Stay within yourself. There's nothing for you to do, but this is playing out is what I feel. All right. So this individual is still attached to you. This individual is still watching you. you had pages of swords show up. Right, but this is someone that isn't capable of growth, is what I feel. Right, there's no growth here with this individual, so you're changing, you're elevating, you're moving. Um, I'm gonna call your angels and guides now to give me some future energy. What will the future? What's this wheel of fortune? Give me more on the wheel of fortune for the future that surrounds Aries. Give me some more on that wheel of fortune, please. What will the outcome be for that Wheel of Fortune for Aries if they continue to put in the work for themselves and heal, take time to rest, hold their boundaries? What will the outcome be? Yeah, you'll heal, right? Three of Swords, you're going to you're gonna heal from something that broke your heart. You're going to cut out anyone that isn't at your level. You're going to cut out anyone that's immature, that isn't willing to do the work, you see them clearly, and that's in your past, right? In your future, I see healing. So your message is about taking the time to, to release any fears that you might have. Know that the universe is working for you always. There are no mistakes here, so just take the time to heal and continue to hold your boundaries is the message that I have for you today, Aries. If you have not done so, please subscribe. Let me know if this resonates. I have personals available if you're interested. You can connect with me through the email provided in the video or on my channel. Take care, Aries. Bye.